I, mean, I think I've always been relatively level about it because like most of my large audiences were people that were there for my opponent. And you know, mentioned like the alt right, uh, and, you know, even the Keith Wood stream that uh, you know, maybe hit a hundred thousand people at fifteen hundred people live. Uh, you know, some of the people were respectful and said like, okay, you know, David was a good guest. He was honest, but uh, and I gained quite a few followers. But but like I knew it was largely negative that uh, most of the people and I knew I was a topic expert or even like the Adam Green and uh, you know, kind of had it like I'm not a star. I'm an introvert. These people aren't really here for me. At best, they're here to hear my research. So, you know, just stay on topic, uh, stay on point. And and then occasionally, maybe like Stephen James or my own channel, where I'll just ramble about my own thoughts. And then like, I know, because like, I'll, you know, I do a, I mean, the few times I gained my, uh, you know, just good technique when we were streaming, I did a post stream. That's how I got a thousand subs. You know, or, or was on JF or Adam Green the first time. And then I do a post stream and I get a huge audience. And I've even explained that like Church of Entropy, who you know broke a thousand subs, Stephen James, like just the technique of uh, building an audience, doing the post stream. I mean, because you know we started off building it off of uh, off of you on the Babs cast. We used to do post streams, but like I'm I'm pretty self aware that like I'm not a star, I'm not going to be famous, and I stream every week. Uh, you know to ten people. So like even after these big streams, like uh, I don't think it made people interested in in me.